Hey everybody, welcome back to CS125. So most of what we do in this class this semester is to teach you how to think computationally and then how to express your thoughts in the Java programming language. And on some level to us, when you're getting started, many of you will go on and take other courses in computer science and you'll learn a lot more about how things actually work under the hood. That's not the focus of this class. We focus on a high level understanding of the Java programming language that you can use to solve problems and change the world. And then those of you who are computer scientists or who develop a fascination and a deeper interest in this stuff will go on and take other courses that will introduce you to exactly what's happening behind the scenes and some of the really interesting bits of technology and the really interesting theoretical and conceptual problems. But today we're gonna to pause and just for a minute look into kind of what's going on. Uh, what happens when you run code in our playground? Um, and the reason we're doing this is, well, there's two reasons actually. One reason is it's super interesting. The second reason is it's important to understand, particularly the types of error messages that come up and kind of how that impacts development and you know the role of different parts of, of the Java tooling in uh, the process of actually creating and executing Java programs. So that's our topic for today. We're going to warm up with a tiny little new piece of syntax that's not even important enough to warrant a walkthrough. Uh, but then what we're going to do is get right into uh, some fun demos where we're actually going to show you um, kind of these two steps that happen when you run code in the playground. We're going to separate them, run them independently, look a little bit at, at what they do, and talk about why it matters. 